So it was Belmullah 2-7, Westport 9 points in the Mayo Senior Football Championship. Belmullah have booked themselves into their first Mayo Senior Football Championship final since 1981. A huge achievement for Belmullah. They obviously upset Brafey in the quarterfinals and they've only gone and caused uh, another upset as well in beating Westport. A huge win for them, no doubt about it. And certainly when you look at the talent in that Westport team and so many young players coming through at the moment in terms of you obviously got Colin Moran in there, Mark Moran, who a lot of people would be very familiar with. Lee Keegan obviously playing a cornerback, you know, one of the best cornerbacks in the game, one of the best footballers in the game and probably Mayo's best footballer in, in general over the past you know 10 to 15 years or whatnot so a huge win in the end for uh, for Bell Muller a huge victory for them they win out the game by 2-7 to 9 points it was a weird game in many ways it was certainly a slow burner uh, I don't think either side particularly played anywhere near their best although you know I haven't seen too many of these two teams I haven't seen these two teams play enough to know if they you know but given the fact that they were in a semi-final, I presume they, they certainly do play a lot better than this normally. Um, but I, I, yeah, I just think you know both defences defenses were very impressive. Um, Attacking-wise, I think both sides were a little bit poorer at different stages. Bell Mullet struggled to create opportunities really in the, in the first half and in the early part of the second half. It wasn't really until late on in the game that they actually started to create a bit more opportunities and create a bit more chances. And I think the main reason for that was because Westport needed to attack and essentially needed to get back into the game. Once it became a two-point game, Westport needed to... I suppose throw a few more men forward, take a, a few more risks, and it left spaces in behind. And Ryan O'Donoghue, who obviously gets that very late goal, which probably makes the scoreline a little bit more flattering than what it actually was. Um, and I suppose for Westport, like they had the opportunities, they had the chances. Uh, Colin Moran was very impressive. Uh, he hit four points. Mark Moran's brother, he he was very impressive. As a matter of fact, I thought he was probably actually. The best player on the pitch, uh, especially from Westport, uh, a Westport point of view. I think Ryan O'Donoghue was the man of the match, but I think Colm Moran was very impressed for Westport. He picked up a number of very brilliant positions in the game. Hit four points, did drop a few chances wide, a few chances short, missed a, a couple of chances late on. But he was very involved for Westport, and I don't think their forwards were as involved as what... Uh, Westport would have wanted but he he was certainly involved and to hit four points in the game I thought was uh, was very impressive from his point of view um, and yeah like just running through some of the, the teams that took to the field so we can actually just have a look at what players were on, on display for either side so the Westport side first of all you can see Lee Keegan in there he was actually named a wing back uh, you've got Paul Lambert in there Rory Brickenden in there Owen McLaughlin of course as everyone would, would be very well familiar with uh, Fionn McDonough's in there at number 11 Luke Tunney's a good up and coming Mayo footballer at the moment as well Colin Moran as I said before was very impressive from a, a Westport point of view and Mark Moran later came off the bench, uh, didn't score and, and probably didn't really make much of an impact in the game. Uh, but he is, from what I believe anyway, nursing some sort of injury. Bell Muller, this was their side. So you can see all the O'Donoghue's in there. Ryan O'Donoghue in particular, obviously named at number 14. Very much carrying on his uh, his brilliant form for Mayo uh, in the inter-county season into the club season. Very phenomenal form. And he finished the day with 1-5 uh, very impressive stuff five frees and obviously his goal from play laid on as well and he was he was tremendous like he was brilliant at just getting on the ball the support play as well he did struggle at times he was being marked by uh, none other than Lee Keegan Lee Keegan was marking him and it made for a very uh, interesting battle nonetheless Lee Keegan received a black card early on and actually Lee Keegan was very lucky to uh, survive the full 60 minutes I thought it was a you know a blatant red card if you've ever seen one or a blatant yellow card at the, at the very minimum in the 48th minute Ryan O'Donoghue turned him inside out Lee Keegan dragged him back and whether it was a black card or a yellow card he would have been sent off because uh, he'd or he, he had already received a, a black card at that moment in time so uh, the referee completely bottled it there in my opinion he didn't give anything at all he gave a free um, but he didn't give the black card or the yellow card and I thought that was a very poor decision from the referee in my opinion as blatant as they at least a yellow and you know obviously two yellows make a red or a black and a yellow makes a red so yeah that, that was a bit of a crazy decision there from the referee but it didn't make a difference in the end Bell Muller kicked on from there without doubt uh, they were very, very impressive, no doubt about it. And just running through some of the scores on the day from a Bell Muller point of view. Ryan O'Donoghue with 1-5. Marty Boylan, he was the man who got the first goal for Bell Muller. Owen McHale with a point and uh, Daniel Barrett with a point. 
as well. Those two points, Owen McHale and Daniel Barrett, those two points actually came late on in the game. Two very impressive uh, points. And I think that was probably the difference for Bell Mullet was because like Westport's defence were doing a great job on the forwards of Bell Mullet, like the likes of Ryan O'Donoghue, like I said before. Um, and like Bell Mullet just needed a bit more forward runs or maybe support play from midfield or just throw a few more players forward and it worked. Uh, Owen McHale and, and Daniel Barra both went on brilliant runs and ended up putting uh, their respective points over the bar. Um, and I suppose for a Westport point of view, they'll be disappointed. Lee Keegan, as I said before, probably should have been sent off, but he actually scored an absolute cracker of a point uh, late on in the game. That was to bring it down to a, a one-point game, but obviously in the end, Bell Muller went and, and got the late goal. But yeah, a, a cracking display, a cracking game of football in, in many ways. It was a real... Uh, I suppose maybe in terms of quality, not quite there, but in terms of drama, it certainly was. It was very end to end. Um, you could tell that you know there was a lot of uh, there was no love lost between these two. Let's let's put it that way. And uh, it was a cracking game, no doubt about it. And Bell Mullet, they'll advance to the final against Knockmore. Knockmore will certainly be the favourite. So I watched that game last night as well. If you want to go and have a look at my match reaction to that, it would have been recorded earlier this morning. Um, or uploaded earlier this morning so you can go and, and have a look at that on the channel I would have knocked more as the favourites right now in my opinion I think they're the ones who, who won the title last year they've got the experience a very young team as well uh, no doubt about that um, and obviously they ended a, a long a long way for a county title last year from what I remember as well so you know they've done what Bell Muller done uh, or, or Bell Muller are trying to do what knock more did last year and, and end a what was it a thirty-five year wait? Uh, you know, since they since they last won a county title, or thirty-five years since they were last in the final. I can't remember if they they actually won that county title or not. But yeah, like it's going to be an intriguing matchup, absolutely no doubt about it. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how that game goes. Will Darren McHale be back in the fold for knock more? We'll have to wait and see. And I suppose for Westport, disappointing from their point of view. They certainly came into this game as favourites. They'd won every game up until this point as well. Um, but Bell Muller were brilliant, brilliant offensively, they were shutting Westport out, um, and even there was a stage in the game as well where they conceded four unanswered points, and you thought, and it was actually came directly after Marty Boylan's goal for Bell Muller, you thought, you know, maybe Bell Muller are going to struggle here, Westport are going to continue their dominance and put on the pressure, but they only hit one more point after that, and that was the late Lee Keegan point. Westport certainly did have a period of domination and I think the game was there for them but they just didn't take their opportunities and you know as the old go as the old saying goes if you don't take your opportunities you'll end up getting punished at some point down uh, you know at the opposite end of the field and that was exactly what happened so yeah anyways this was the match reaction for uh, Bell Muller in terms of their victory over Westport winning the game by four points in the end and booking themselves into the Mayo Senior Football Championship final do stay tuned for more interviews more podcasts coming soon there'll be uh, previews coming out for the Galway Senior Football Championship final next weekend as well as a whole host of other previews for the Dublin Hurling final and also the Armagh Senior Football final so stay tuned for that my name is aaron leave a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content it is completely free i do appreciate anyone who's subscribed already you are an absolute legend and if you could share this out to your friends and family it would make you even more of a legend so happy days what what, what more can you lose anyways i'll wrap this up here my name is aaron i'll see you all later